Your whole Revit project is based around parameters. Now these parameters are values that you add and they can be specific to the project, they can be shared or they can be global. Now you'll find all of your parameters in the Manage tab in the Settings panel on the ribbon. And we've got a project for you so that you can at least look at some of these properties and how they work. So we've got a file, it's called parameters.rvt. You can download it from the library as usual to follow along in the video. And you'll notice it defaults to floor plans level one and you should recognize it. It's the Revit basic sample file that comes with Revit when you install it. And I'm using this one because it's, it's a pretty sensible file. It's got some bits and pieces in it. And we can then start looking at the project parameters, the shared parameters and the global parameters. Now, they're in the Manage tab on the ribbon in the settings. There's project parameters right there. So you can see that we've already got some parameters available to elements in this project. So we've got occupant and recycled content. Now, if I want to add a project parameter, I click on the button and I get this great big parameter properties dialog box appear. And you can see there it's a project parameter. So that means it can appear in schedules, but not in tags. Project parameters are basically containers for information that you define and then you add it to multiple categories of elements in your project. They are specific to the project and cannot be shared with other projects. And you can then use those project parameters in multi-category or single category schedules. So you can see there that you can add all this information. It can be filtered by discipline and you can see all the categories that you can apply this parameter to. So you might add a project parameter to doors because you're using a specific manufacturer, for example. And you can see there's lots of different settings. You've got the disciplines there. You've got the type of parameter, lots of different types of parameters. And you've also got the group parameter under, and you can see you can group it under all the different types there as well. So there's a lot of variants and a lot of settings that you can work with. You'll also notice there that you can apply what is called a shared parameter, like so. When I click there, you'll notice certain things gray out, such as discipline or type. Now, you can put a name in, obviously, and you can have a type or an instance parameter, and then you group that again under the category you want to group it under. Shared parameters are parameter definitions that you can use in multiple families or projects. So these ones can be transferred from one project to another. And they are basically parameters that you add to families or projects, and they are stored in a file independent of any family file or Revit project. In fact, they're stored in a shared parameter list. So if I just cancel this and go back to my settings panel here, I'll just cancel that as well. There's settings and there's shared parameters. Now you'll notice there aren't any shared parameters in this project at all. There's no shared parameter file either. I can create one and you'll notice that a shared parameter file is purely a TXT file. And I can save it in the same folder as my project. So these shared parameters, I can add them whenever I want to, but I've got to have a shared parameter file. Now that shared parameter file is like a sort of, it's a bucket where you store it all. And you can put all the information in there. And for example, you might apply a shared parameter to a tag. And that has to be a shared parameter because you're sharing it between different types of things in the project. So shared parameters are also useful when you want to create a schedule that displays various family categories. So without that shared parameter, you can't do that. If you create a shared parameter and add it to the desired family categories, you can then create a schedule with those categories in it. It's called creating a multi-category schedule. So you can have different categories applied to the same element, door, window, etc., but they have to have that shared parameter. Now, global parameters, how do they work? Global parameters, again, are here in the settings panel. So if I click on global parameters, I can add them, no problem. New global parameter, delete global parameter, move it up and down the list. I can edit global parameters as well. And a global parameter is specific to a single project file, but it's not assigned to categories like your project parameters. Global parameters can be simple values that you might need to apply. So values derived from equations, values taken from the model using other global parameters. So these are sort of the parameters that you wouldn't use often, but they kind of need to be there. 
So you might have an equation that allows you to calculate perhaps the slope of an angled window, for example. Typical example of that would be something like the Shard in London. All those windows had to be at a certain angle, and not only that, they have to go around that pyramid shape as well. So not only do their length and their height have to be calculated, but you have to use a formula to get that value. That would be a global parameter that you might use in a Revit project. So I'll just cancel that for now and just kind of surmise here. So these parameters are really important. You can find them in your Manage tab in the settings. There's Global, Shared, and Project. You normally start at Project Parameters, and then you add the information you need. If you need a new one, click on Add. You can add Project Parameters and Shared Parameters in there, no problem at all. Remember, Project Parameters, specific to the project. They can't go anywhere else. Shared Parameters can go in the project, can go to other projects, can be shared with families, and can be applied to multiple projects and families, exported to ODBC, which is database language, and they can appear in schedules and tags. So the whole idea there is all shared parameters can be scheduled when you're creating your schedules in your project. Global parameters, on the other hand, are sort of like the black sheep of the family. They have their own setting there, and you can add them, and you've got parameters, values, formulas, and so on. So if you've got certain parameters, you can add them in here and you can add the values and then you can create a formula. Like I said, when you're calculating the area of a weirdly angled piece of glass, for example. So I'll click on cancel and what we'll do is we'll finish there. Just be aware that those parameters are what Revit functions on. And you need to make sure that those parameters are in there in your projects doing what they should. 